Hello everyone! Welcome back to our Matt Ocho YouTube channel. At kung di ka pa nakakapag-subscribe, aba, mag-subscribe na para updated kayo sa ating weekly lesson. And for today's video, we are going to have our third quarter summative test part 2. The coverage of this test, our lesson for week 3 and 4, that is the triangle congruence and the triangle congruence postulates. You are just going to write your answer on a sheet of paper. Are you ready? Okay, let us have test 1. For our test 1, this is a multiple choice. You are going to choose the letter of the correct answer. Okay, problem number 1. Which of the following is true about triangle congruence? Letter A. Corresponding angles are equal. Letter B. Two sides and included angles are equal. Letter C. Corresponding sides are equal. Or letter D. Two angles and sides are equal. Question number two. Look at the figure at the right. Which of the following condition, along with the given OQ is congruent to OR, so look at the figure, this is OQ congruent to OR, is sufficient to prove that the two triangles are congruent to each other? Is it letter A, angle P is congruent to angle S? Letter B, side OP is congruent to side OS? Letter C, angle Q is congruent to angle R. Or letter D, side PQ is congruent to side SR. Question number 3. Again, we have the figure on the right. A pair of congruent triangles are as shown. Which statement must be true? Letter A, angle ABD is congruent to angle ABC. Letter B, side DA is congruent to side BC. Letter C, angle ADC is congruent to angle ABC. Or letter D, side BA is congruent to side BC. Question number 4. What does the word congruent means? Letter A. Angle. Letter B. Equal. Letter C. Side. Or letter D. Opposite. Number 5. Look at the figure on the left. Using Angle side angle or asa congruence. Find the value of x and y on the figure. Letter A. x is equal to 40 and y is equal to 60. Letter B. x is equal to 30 and y is equal to 60. Letter C. x is equal to 60 and y is equal to 60 or letter d x is equal to 60 and y is equal to 40 number six which condition will explain the figure on the right letter a the sas or side angle side letter b ASA or angle side angle. Letter C, the SSS or side side side. Or letter D, AAA. Number 7. In triangle ABC, this is triangle ABC, and KLM, so this is triangle KLM. Side AC 
is equal to LM. And the measure of angle C is equal to the measure of angle M. Two triangles will be congruent by SAS postulates if letter A, side LM is congruent to side BC, letter B, side KM is congruent to side BC, letter C, side KL is, equal, is congruent to side AB, or letter D, side KM is congruent to side BA. Number 8. Which condition will explain the figure on the left? Letter A, SAS. Letter B, ASA. Letter C, SSS. Or letter D, AAA. Number 9. What information is missing to determine if the triangles are congruent by SAS postulate. Letter A, angle A is congruent to angle C. Letter B, angle D is congruent to angle B. Letter C, angle A is congruent to angle B. Or letter D, angle B is congruent to angle B. Question number 10. What information is missing so that the two triangles below are congruent? Letter A, angle Q is congruent to angle T. Letter B, angle S is congruent to angle P. Letter C, angle S is congruent to angle P. Letter D, angle P is congruent to angle T. Alright, so we are done with our test 1, the multiple choice. Now, let's move on to test 2, identification. Okay, for letter A, state the congruence postulates illustrated in the given congruent triangles. You're just going to write if the given congruence postulate is SSS, ASA, and SAS. Okay, this is our number 11. So, just look at the figure, analyze, and then write your answer if it is SSS, ASA, and SSSAS. So, this is our number 11 figure. Analyze. Okay, write your answer. This is our number 12. Is it SSS, ASA, or SAS? Okay, write your answer on your paper. This is our number 13. Okay, write your answer. This is our number 14. Okay, you analyze and then write your answer. Very good, you're doing good. Next, number 15. Excellent. So, we are done with test 2, letter A, identification. Now, let's move on. To identification letter B fill in the blanks to prove the triangle congruence using the given figure below so you're just going to fill in the blanks at the correct missing parts okay number 16 angle A this angle A is congruent to blank so what do you think is the missing okay write your answer you're just going to look at the figure Next, number 17, angle blank is congruent to angle E. This is angle E. So, alin kaya yung kapair niya dun sa kabilang triangle? Alright. Next, number 18, side AC. This is side AC. Is congruent to blank. Alright. Number 19, blank is congruent to side ED. So, this is side ED. So, alin yung kapair niya sa kabilang triangle? Alright, and number 20, triangle ABC, this is triangle ABC, is congruent to triangle blank. So, what do you think is the name of this triangle? Alright, so we are done with test 2 identification letter B. 
So let's move on to the next part of our summative test part 2. Okay, illustration. So in this part, you are going to draw a congruent triangle by putting the names and identical markings on the corresponding congruent angles and congruent side. So you are going to draw the two triangles and then put the marks for the congruent angles and congruent sides given the following. So for congruent angles, angle G is congruent to angle E. So lagyan nyo ng isang marka. Angle M is congruent to angle H. Dalawang mark naman ang ilalagay nyo dyan. Angle A is congruent to angle T. Dito tatlong mark ng angles ang ilalagay nyo. Next, congruent sides. Side GA is congruent to side ET. Lagyan nyo na isang mark. Side MA is congruent to side TH. Lagyan nyo yan ng dalawang marks. And side MG is congruent to side HE. Lagyan nyo ng tatlong mark. So, yes, that is for letter A. Illustration. Alright, for letter B, illustration, direction, draw, and identify the congruence postulate. So, after you draw, you write the uh, congruence postulate. Okay, so given the congruent sides. Side AM is congruent to side MH. Side AT is congruent to side HT. And angle MAT is congruent to angle MHT. So, dito pa lang sa given, alam nyo na kaagad kung anong congruence postulate ang ating ginamit. Alright? So, that's it. We are done with test 3, illustration. And finally, test 1, the multiple choice. Test 2, the identification. And test 3, the illustration. So, we are done with our summative test part 2 for week 3 and 4. So, I hope you answered it correctly. So thank you very much everyone. God bless and happy learnings.